If you spend your time at work, or play, typing away on an everyday membrane keyboard, it could be worthwhile swapping out for a mechanical keyboard. This could help you type quickly and more accurately, and will last far longer than a standard PC included keyboard. So let's look at some of the advantages of upgrading to a mechanical keyboard. First of all, mechanical switches aren't new. They've been around since the 80s. But as time went on, manufacturers found ways to cut costs and make keyboards cheaper, since all they were used for was entering data. But now with the rise of PC gaming, and many people using keyboards for the majority of their days at work and at home, the desire for a more comfortable experience has brought the mechanical keyboard back to the public eye. Both mechanical and membrane keyboards can have many of the same features, including backlighting, in-key rollover, and anti-ghosting. But where they differ is in the way keystrokes are registered. Membrane keyboards are very basic. Basically, all the keys are connected to what are essentially pressure pads. You've got a keycap and a spring under there that makes it go up and down. And when you press down on a key, it pushes down on a rubber dome that will flatten out to make a connection with the circuit board, telling the computer that a key has been pressed. The only way for your computer to know if a key's been pressed is when the keycap is pushed all the way to the bottom. Now, mechanical switches on the other hand have individual mechanical mechanisms under every key that moves up and down to make a connection with its own circuitry. The actuation point, or the point where the computer knows that a key's been pressed, is made inside the switch itself. So in most cases, you don't have to fully press the key all the way down. And also in most cases, the key doesn't even have to come all the way back up before you can make another key press. Now, I say in most cases because the beauty of mechanical switches is that the consumer is given a lot of options when it comes to various levels of resistance, tactile feedback, and audible noise. And these are all differentiated by color to make things easier. Here we have a little keypad with six different colors of Cherry MX switches, which is by far the most common make of mechanical switch. These little boards are helpful because you can really feel the difference between them when they're all laid out in front of you. And you should be able to find one of these in the keyboard section of your local PB. Regardless of make, the behavior of any switch can be divided into three categories. Clicky, tactile, and linear. The three most common mechanical switches you'll find are Cherry MX Blues, Browns, and Reds. The Cherry MX Blues are clicky and require only 50 grams of force to actuate. It has an audible click and a tactile bump. So when you press the key down, you'll feel a little bump and hear the switch click. This is where the key actuates. Cherry MX Browns are similar. They still have that same tactile bump you can feel, but they don't have the audible click, making the switch feel similar, but it's much quieter. And then finally, the reds have a smooth or linear switch, which means the key travels smoothly from top to bottom, and you can't feel the actuation point of the switch like you can on the other two. The green, white, and black switches fall into the same categories as the three above. The green, like the blue, is audible with a tactile bump, but instead takes 80 grams of force to hit the actuation point, which makes the key feel more stiff. The white is the same as the brown, tactile with no click, but takes 85 grams of force, which is considerably more. And the black is linear like the red, but requires 60 grams of force to actuate. Someone who wants to focus mainly on typing will most likely prefer blues or greens due to the tactile feel and the satisfaction of the click, letting you know that the key's been registered. Once you get used to it, you can swiftly glide your fingers over the keys and use the audible click to let you know when to move on to the next, improving speed and accuracy. Just note that these switches are quite loud. So if you're in an office environment, the brown or white switches might be a little more courteous. For gaming, most people tend to lean towards the browns or the reds depending on whether or not you want that tactile bump. The Cherry MX Reds actuation point and release are a lot closer together, so you can bounce your finger in the middle of the switch for much faster key presses. Now there's a few companies making their own switches and colors out there, but as long as you understand those three categories the switches fall into, you will know what they should feel like. For example, Razor Green switches are clicky and tactile, and take 50 grams of force to actuate. This makes them basically identical to the Cherry MX Blues. The only difference is the actuation point is slightly shorter on Razer's greens, so you only have to push down 1.9mm for the key to register, compared to the MX Blues 2.2mm. In the end, it all comes down to the feel you prefer the most, which is why these little boards with a bunch of different switch types on them are handy. You should definitely check them out yourself in store, because once you get the feel for a mechanical keyboard, you won't be able to go back to membrane. I'm Eli from PB Tech. remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.